So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome to another exciting episode on this channel. And today's episode is going to be part of the Photoshop quick tips and tricks that I am back on Photoshop for some time now. And it's been a long time that we practice something in Photoshop quick tips and tricks. If you have been following this channel for a long time, realize that I have been teaching you a short tutorials or a short tricks in Photoshop for some time now. And as today's popular requests, it's been a popular request in which I had on my social media handles or somebody sent to me on my DM and this is it. And they said, please, I need a tutorial on how to edit 3D text. Good. So based on this popular request, we are going to, and then he saw this request from this side. I posted this flyer and then he was practicing it and he realized that he is unable to do the 3D text effects for he sent a request that we should work on how to edit 3D text effect in Photoshop. So without wasting much time, I'll just go in my Photoshop control N to open a new document. And in order to have a 3D text effect, you must log on to. So in order to have this 3D text effects, you must log on to freepick.com and then is it a freepick.com create account. If you don't have an account, then you need to create account using required details such as your email address name password and other things and then you create accounts and then you you just go to the search button here and type on 3d text and then some samples like this will pop up on your screen the ones that contains a lock or these things requires a premium version and then that one you need to pay for it but the one that does not have any um, um, a, 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 a crown or something like this on it requires a free so you can download that one and then maybe you can click on any of them in which it doesn't have a crown on it so specifically if i want this one you just click on this and then you just wait for it to load and you realize that there is a download button here so you click on the download button and then download and then it will download into your download version or wherever you you download your your details or your resources into and then in this condition i downloaded my own app to to realize that it's been downloading it's been downloading and then in this condition i downloaded my own the one i'm using currently i downloaded it into my desktop and then it's currently here let me go and show it to you let me go and show it so this is it i have a lot of them and then let me just double click it one is download completed you just double click it and then it open and you realize that you see the 3d photoshop and um, version like this first one contains the png uh, version and then the, the next one contains the psd file so click on or double click on the PSD version and then wait for it to load in your Photoshop. So guys, this is it. It's downloading and then you realize that this is how it looks like. Some of them comes in a form of this. Let me put it in a group for you. Some of them come in a form of this whereby the eye button is closed. So you see it this way. In case you see it this way, just quickly come to the eye button like this and then turn it on. And then everything will pop up when it's once it's pop up just open the group like this and then you just scroll through and realize place your design here or edit me or it's a smart object over there so first of all just hide this one these are the additional text and then you just double click in this side once you double click in this side you realize that this is the free version of it then you just double click again and then just do your editing so here it's ammo so maybe let me go and type, uh, uh, um, let's say, uh, what else we use, what else we use, what else we use. All right, so let's, let me use the, the um, what do you call it, this amazing grace. So quickly, I'll just come and then type amazing. Amazing like that, and then grace. All right, then press enter, then go to this side and open here open here to some way some way like uh, 300 and let's see and then close this side to let's say 400 and let's see all right all right all right all right so it means we need to open up the grace or we need to scale the grace up to somewhere 500 and let's see i think still small 600 and i'm sure it's okay and then let's open here to maybe 400 and then control T to select everything. 
you scale it down just showing you how to edit that 3d text and then let me open it up again 400 and once i'm okay with it then i'll just once everything is here you have done your editing maybe however you want it just do it over there and when it's done just click on this one to close it and then click on yes and then wait for everything to load it will close this automatically and bring it to the side guys now you see it has appeared on this side and then in order to make changes to it let me hide the background because maybe we don't need a background and then in this side it contains a lot of things so you see surface over here then you see borders over here you see shadow over here and then maybe if i don't want all the shadows or if i need shadow or maybe i don't need a shadow then just make the changes or maybe i need a shadow but i don't need a, a, a lot of the shadows just be hiding some of them and once you get what you want you close it like this good then once you close it like this press control or you can even save this you can even save this yes you can save this on control shift and s and then you save this one separately you save this one let me save it on my desktop let me save it on my desktop let me save it on my desktop and then i'll save it over here and then enter and then i'll save it separately on my desktop and then once if i'm working on the project maybe i've i've designed a, 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 maybe or maybe i've okay so once you have saved everything on your desktop or anywhere ever you save your things and then maybe you are already working on a project so this is a currently a project i'm working on it and then i need to pause and do the tutorials for the request so maybe let me just go and pick it and then drag it into photoshop and then place it on it and then the rest of the tutorials or the rest of the uh, um, um, process continue so basically this is how you can edit a 3d text effect let me repeat the process again first of all just log on to your um, um, freepick.com and then look for the free 3d text effect maybe this is awesome this is also free this is also free this is free and then if you are if you in case you want to download the premium you can log on and then pay for it and then you have access to download the premium text effect but if you want to go by the free versions and i think this is also awesome this is awesome this is awesome there are a lot of them in which you can go on nest and then they bring you more 3d text effect for you to download from and then yeah so after downloading it it will appear here so today i've downloaded i think two already and maybe once you are done you just upload it into the photoshop like this and then do your editing as i said some of them comes in a form of this so you need to close it or open it this way then open the group and then you will see place your design here or edit me or a smart object you double click that side and then make double click inside in the text and then just do your editing and write anything that you want to do after that press enter and then save it press yes and then it will save at the free PSD side again so it will save over here and then you can save this separately on your desktop and then export it into the current project you are working on it so guys if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around like subscribe and share and then let's grow the channel together i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial with this tutorial i love you bye for now